it going? What's going on? So I had the this and then I did that. And then I just busted and, then I it and I did that cry. and wah wah. <laughs> World Series of Poker first day. It's like the first day of school. Who's excited? Are you excited, Bobby Boy? I'm excited. Guys, I'm Lexi Gavin Mather. This is hashtag more Bob if you know you know. And it is the World Series of Poker, and we are gonna be doing one video a day of the World Series of Poker, vlogging our journey, and I'm excited. We are? We are, yes. No, this is I don't a think team. We, we are. are a team. We are an unpaid assistant who is overworked, <laughs> underpaid, obviously, and slightly sexually harassed from time to time. <laughs> Take it up with HR. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, guys, today is the $1,000 Mystery Millions event. I'm really excited for this one because this one, there's a random envelope. It's a bounty tournament. There's a random envelope. If you knock someone out and you win a bounty, you could win a million dollars. And Matt Glance won it last year. So that would be really great to win that one. And even if you don't, I think last year, first place was like 750K. So it's a really good event. Bobby Boy here might play the, what, $1,500 dealer's choice? Not might, I'm going to. Oh, you're going to, okay. Yeah. Well, just don't play the same tournament as me. I don't care, see how I care. We got some chocolates as a gift for Daniel Negreanu. Don't eat them. Well, I'm trying one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just testing it. No, I don't want, I don't need. Uh, I Vegan packed some chocolate. healthy food. This is what we do here. We meal prep. That's the perks of living in Vegas during the World Series. Anyway, we gotta get in the car. We gotta head over to the Paris Valleys and jump in the tournament, so let's go. All right, we are in route. We've got our liquid fuel for the day. And Bobby Boy and I were just talking about our intention for the tournament. Yeah, like today, I'm gonna play the $1,500 dealer's choice because I have two intentions. One is I wanna have some fun. I'm gonna have some fun today. I'm not selling any action to anything this year so I can spend my own money and have my own fun. But last year, I would have played the $1,000 bounty with the intention if I bust, I'm gonna jump into this other one. And I just wanna focus on trying to have fun and doing as well as I can in the uh, dealer's choice because I love those games and I'm, yeah. I'm okay at most of them. Same, same. Yeah, like normally I would be like, okay, I can go and play this and then if I bust, play that. But it's all about setting your intentions and making sure that you are focused and excited and your intention for every time you play the tournament is to do well in the tournament. Yeah, it's like booking a flight on, like making your trip, round trip ticket and booking a flight home on day three. Cause right. like I'll change it if I make it, but no. Yeah, just... you're almost like manifesting that you're gonna lose and then it yeah. usually happens. So have good intentions for tournaments. And my intention is to have fun today and have no bad beats and to not get frustrated and not get upset when everybody in the world at the 25K fantasy draft, including Chance Corneth, started calling me an Instagram husband. <laughs> and Chance started YouTube asking husband. me. Yeah. And Chance started asking me, do my arms get out, out of the blue? We're sitting there watching and out of the blue, Chance goes, do your arms get tired? I'm like, what? Because holding the camera. <laughs> 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 Guys, hashtag more Bob in the comments. Show him some love for being uh, the YouTube, Instagram, Facebook husband, being my little film. I was a person before I got married. <laughs> I had an identity. All People right, knew okay. me. Ow. All right, anyway, we're gonna have our coffees and head on down there. Remember, today is a bounty tournament, so when you do play bounties, you kinda wanna try to get there on time because you wanna be able to bust people. And also, try to register your tournaments on time because the weaker players are always in the beginning and they won't last. All right, to the casino we go. Bye -bye. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, this is the Rio, and this is where the World Series used to be. R.I.P. Rio. So 
So if you're driving this year and parking, it's a nightmare. The construction is horrible. F1's coming to town. They're widening the roads. Who drops the phone <laughs> twice? <laughs> okay. All right, so the construction is horrible. The lines are long. If you're going to be parking at the horseshoe, leave early. Leave early. Right, guys if you're doing the bravo account thing depositing money in your bravo account you need to come here first and verify your account so that you can print your tickets at the kiosk and there's um there's another section Hi, over tyler. here tyler hey guys tyler tyler, tyler? <laughs> what do you what want are, what are lexi's fans called is there like a uh, like a... Gavin's guys is what Ben calls me. Gavin's guys, Gavin's guys, sexist, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> I mean, it's 2023. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good luck, Tyler. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, let me show you something right here. I've read about this part. There's a part right here. It's called payout. <laughs> so apparently, if you play this and you do good, they'll give you money. You do good. You do good. You gotta do good. You don't, what? <laughs> you do plenty of good, Bob. You have to do well. Oh, you have yes, to do well. Exactly. Sorry, thank you. Grammar police. All right, so we are at the fast track. Swipe. Print tournament ticket. I really hope I get Paris. I wanna stay on this side. This is the I think nice almost side. all day one start over here now. Oh, shut up, seriously? Yeah. You hear that, guys? All right, so then you print, print. <laughs> I'm running good already. Every day one. All right. Almost Paris. every day one. Well, we're here, so let's go. Oh, and it's like a nice temperature in here today. That's rare. Look who we have here. Let's go, Michael. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, don't get fancy play syndrome. <laughs> uh, you realize you have a lot of chips? I just got lucky. What? Wow. Nice. Here we are. Hey, everyone. Big old earrings. Thanks, sir. Shit, my God. Look who decided to show up, Mr. Hi. Bob. Hi. Hi. So I went into the King's Lounge and sat with all the 25K where they were all playing around me. So I felt like I was really kind of playing Aww. a 25K six match. Did you feel like so out of place? I felt like I looked around at the tables and literally said, I can't imagine playing with these people. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was just not even, they're not normal. Yeah. Okay. Well, one day, baby. One day. One day. Just visit LexiGavinMather.com for my free poker training. You have lessons? Maybe you'll learn something. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you've got my favorite vlog, but I'm not going to see you in my favorite code. Hey! <laughs> it's not good for promo. People. I gotta say hello to you first. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. You got your honey next to you. I do. Oh, uh, him? Look at your hand. Oh, yeah. That's your honey. Oh, yeah. And they want to be movie stars and then they go in the tank and they Hollywood. <laughs> Play your hand, bro. <laughs> Miss you guys. Yes, you too. Did I just hear you say you're going home? No, I was joking. <laughs> I just got busted from the, for the oh. tournament of champions, but we're all right. Oh. At least I get knocked out early. Yeah, I can go know. relax and smoke a cigar. I miss you guys. You and you when are you going to invite me to the cash game? Anytime you want. Anytime. Anytime. You know that. All right, so he's in a hand. He looks a little busy. So let's talk about a quick hand that I played. Um, I have a little over starting. I'm, I think you start with 40,000 chips and I have like 55,000. So it's actually pretty decent. Um, not too many crazy hands, but I did write one down. Uh, so the blinds were 600, 1200, 1200. Under the gun one opens to 2600. I call in the big blind with nine six of hearts. The flop is jack of spades, eight of hearts, five of diamonds. So I have a gut shot and backdoor hearts, but only nine high. So I check and he see bets pretty small. He see bets 2K. 
and I check raise them to 6,200. Now this is a pretty good board for my hand being that I flatted in the big blind. And like I said, I only have nine high and I do have some back door equity. So if I check raise there, I can continue barreling on any like heart turns. And if I hit a seven, then I have enough. So I check raise to 6,200, he calls. The turn is the king of hearts. So now I've turned the flush draw. I bet again, I bet 4,500 and he tanks for a bit and then folds. So. Those are like nice little spots that you can look for um, when you have the range advantage and you don't really have like a hand that's strong enough to check call. Um, anyway, that's my update. This Hi. is Shirley. Hello. How are you? Hey, how you doing? <laughs> how are you? Don't forget to like and subscribe. That's everybody. right. <laughs> Listen to him. Like and subscribe. All right, I'm shutting this off so I can say hi to these guys. So I had an interesting comment made to me. In, at my table. I open the cutoff and then the big line three bets me and I fold. I didn't have anything. I had like queen jack off. And he goes, I only raise girls with the nuts or I only raise when I have it against girls. And I was like, hmm. Isn't that kind of good sound poker advice though? Yeah. Only raise when you have yeah, it. Yeah, okay. Or is that bad? I was like, okay, you you think that that's, that's good because I'm just gonna like, raise him all the time when I'm bluffing and then he's just gonna think that I have it because <laughs> apparently girls suck <laughs> I had somebody say something at the table to me a little while ago what they said do you ever wish that you were as good at poker as your wife <laughs> yeah. and what did you say I said of course. of course she's the bestest that's right hashtag more Bob guys oh, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Needed it. Oh, I need it. Okay, so that hand, he limped in middle. I raised the button. He called, and we got it all in on the flop. I was trying to pick on her. Facts. I was trying to pick on her. You're trying to pick on me. She had the button. She was bullying me on the button all day. I was trying to pick on her. You played it well. You played I it well. Caught. If I didn't flop two pair, I probably would have folded. Harder <laughs> songs. Hi, Murph. Hi, Skittles. Hi. Welcome back. Thank it's you. Great to see you, the new host. You've been fantastic on TV. Aww. The show's killing it. Thank you. So, Appreciate you. I no, hope you'll have a great day at the tables, too. Awesome. Thanks, Murph. See you later, darling. All right, table broke. We're moving away. All right, new car. table. We got Joey in the house. house. <laughs> Dennis, go. Well, that's just a important time. Chop it up. I have a tennis swim and I'll get out What a waste of the nuts. All right, so we're on break. I'm here with my friend Mike, and he's gonna be my cameraman and hold the camera while I talk two hands that I played with you guys. So here you go. Okay, so the first hand, the blinds are 1,2500 with the 2,500 big blind ante. I opened the cutoff with Jack Deuce of Spades. I raised to 5,500 and I had like 60,000 to start the hand. Um, the small blind calls and he has 30,000 to start the hand and the big blind calls as well. He had 80K to start the hand. The flop is five of clubs. Hi. I don't know him. The flop is five of clubs, five of hearts, three of spades. I decided to see bet here. I have backdoor spades. I only have jack do, so it's not a good hand. So I see bet and it's a really dry board so you don't need to go too big. So I go 3,500. Small blind calls and the big blind folds. Now at this point, the small blind only has like like maybe 15 big blinds behind. Uh, the turn is the tennis space, and so now I've turned the flush draw. He checks, and I shove. I decide to shove for his remaining 15 bigs, and I get the fold. So that's a really good result with Jack Deuce of Spades. I've been really card dead, so I have to like make something out of nothing here. So the next hand, and this is a really simple one. It's a pre-flop spot that I kind of thought was interesting. I got moved to a new table, and the new table was like super, super tight. So under the gun, so the, okay. So the blinds are 1,500, 3K, 3K. Under the gun player limps, and he has like 130,000 effective. So he had like a big stack. So I thought it was really super weird that he limped. Um, the button who had 50,000 effective raises to 6,500. So just like a little over a min raise, 
against a limper. I just thought that both of these plays were really weak. And so I decided to three bet with Queen of Spades, Jack of Diamonds, and I have 80K and they both fold. So that's just like one of those spots where it's good to kind of, you know, that's a good spot to chip up when you're facing weak ranges. Because again, under the gun limped and the button just like min clicked it back. It was just weird. So I thought that instead of just flatting and then going, you know, and then having the under the gun player call and going three ways out of position on two players with a bad hand that doesn't play well post flop, I just three bet and then I got both folds and I picked up a lot of dead money free flop. So those are the two hands that I thought were interesting for the last few levels. Look at this crew I just ran into. Dan Shack, Matt Glantz, who pulled the $1 million bounty in this last year. And then, of course, Greg Merson, 2012 main event winner. And the river card is a seven. Sylvia is out. Greg Merson is the 2012 main event champion. And longtime friend of mine. Oh, longtime friends of mine. <laughs> you made the cut. You made the cut. All right, all in. Got my clubs blocked. Three. All right, good luck, guys. Well, we busted, but it's okay. I feel like I'm not beat the F up yet, <laughs> which is nice, because it's the first day, and busting over and over and over is inevitable, and it's gonna happen. Daniel. So, hey. hi, come on, people. How's it going? What's going on? <laughs> so I had the this, and then I did that. And then I just busted, and, then I and I did that, cry. and wah, wah. <laughs> yeah, did you, you get the chocolate? Yes, I did. Okay. Good luck. Hello. Hello. No game mode. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> uh, what was I saying? Yeah, that was Daniel Negreanu. <laughs> uh, anyway, so that's that. And all good thanks guys for watching make sure to hit the subscribe also i do have a poker training course visit lexigabinmather.com for free poker training it is going to i'm telling you this course whether you're new to the game or a little bit more seasoned it will transform your game so i'm gonna head home thanks again for watching and i'll see you for the next light of this 1k bye